Ali, or Ali from Dubai writes to me, I've always thought of a preamp as just a volume control, but the more I read, the more I see that it plays a bigger role than I realized. Some people say a good preamp can transform a system even when everything else stays the same. Others claim that passive is the best and that active preamps color the sound. Could you explain what a preamp is really doing to the signal and why it matters? Is it just gain structure or are there more subtle things happening? And you guys are asking some pointy questions lately. <laughs> preamps. We started PS Audio 52 something years ago building preamps. First a phono preamp and next a preamp, preamp, a linear preamp. And we've built passive preamps, but We've probably been making preamps and designing preamps for longer than just about any other company out there that's still intact. And so we know a bit about preamps. Preamps, in its simplest form, controls the volume, as you suggested, selects the inputs, and it provides a pre or before amplification stage that controls the volume going into your power amp. Now, you can't always say that you have to have a preamp to do that. For example, modern DACs, here's a PM, here's, you can see kind of the inside here, here's a PMG DAC. Now this signature DAC has a preamplifier built into it. It's an analog preamplifier built into it. It's not on, but if I were to run my finger around the edge here, it would turn the volume up and down, and that goes directly into a power amplifier, life's good. And this works as a preamp if you only have digital inputs. If you also have a turntable, well then you're going to want a real preamp. And by real, we mean an analog preamplifier that has a volume control, input selector, and a gain stage inside. But let's go to the bigger picture and the bigger subject that Ali is bringing up. A preamp is the interface with the outside world, kind of the way I look at it, okay? Most preamps are not great. Most preamps do a fine job, but they don't make things better, they just service what's there. Let me give you an example. Most preamps in the market, analog preamps, you'd be better off not using it at all. So for example, if you had a DAC with its own digital volume control or analog volume control, like in the case of the PMG, you'd be better off skipping that preamp and going directly into your power amp. That's something I advocated for many years until it was pointed out to me that there's a small subset of preamps that actually do the opposite, that enhance the sound. Now, why would they do that? Well, first off, the design, and we have learned an awful lot over the years, and every preamp we've made since the BHK, which has been out, what, 12, 12 years or so, has been better than not having a preamp at all. But that took us, look how long we've been doing this. It took us a long time to figure that out, and it doesn't apply to most preamps. So, yes, you can. And I'm not going to get into the whole reasons why our PMG preamp, the older BHK preamp, actually sound better when inserted, bec and the design philosophies between that. But what you can say is that properly done, a preamp will isolate all this stuff, all this source equipment from the outer world, which is our power amp and our loudspeaker combination, right? So that combination likes to have the isolation from everything else feeding it. If it doesn't interfere or degrade the sonics, which most preamplifiers actually do. So there's a small subset, small handful of preamps out there 
that are so good that they actually make things better. So I know that's not a, a terrific answer because I know most people want to just, just tell me what to do <laughs> and I'll do it. So, ah, sorry, I, you know, yeah, not going down that road. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks. Thank you.